What's up gamers, Jem here and welcome to the tutorial of connecting your Stadia controller to PC uh, to make uh, most of your PC games work on Stadia. So this will only work on PC games that already supports the Xbox controller because what this software does that I'm going to show you is basically converts your Stadia controller into an Xbox controller. So in other words, uh, technically speaking, it's converting your controller into an X input if you want to be technical but you know to make to make it simple all it's doing is converting your Stadia controller into an Xbox controller so any PC game that supports Xbox controller will also support your Stadia controller now there are other softwares you can use for example uh, Steam you can use Steam uh, to con uh, manually configure your Stadia controller to work this way as well um, but I found it a bit of a hassle I don't like the way Steam does it um, if this control is not officially spoiled, it's a bit of a hassle for me at least. Um, there are probably other softwares you can use as well if you just do a Google search. But I'm just showing you the way I've been doing it for like a year now since Stadia launched and it's been working flawlessly. Um, and also I do want to point out before we start, uh, I'm not responsible if there's any harm done uh, with your machine due to this software because um, I'm not promoting this software I do not know the developer of this software so I can't say that it's 100% safe all I'm telling you is that this is what I've been using for like almost a year now and I thought it would be a great video to share uh, some people who want to use a Stadia controller for PC games so let's begin so you go to Google and let's search for X output uh, agree to that. <laughs> um, go to GitHub, and this is what the page is. I will put the description uh, link in the description if YouTube will allow it. Uh, if not, this is it. Um, and you go into releases, and I, I like to go into releases in general for GitHub because I get to see the latest versions and the previous versions. So I'm going to go for the latest version. I'm going to download .zip, xoutput.zip, that's what you want. Once you download that, right click and extract and you will have this folder right here. And <laughs> this genuinely is my desktop by the way. I'm not hiding anything. My desktop really is this clean. When I tell people that, they're always in shock. All I have normally is just a recycle bin. Um, but anyways, you can place this X output folder anywhere you want. Um, and let's start the software so we click on X output again you could put this anywhere you want this folder so you can already see I got the stay controller right here let me it's because it's already connected so let me just disconnect that and then this reconnect that just so you know that it's active um, might need a force refresh there you go stay controller um, and what I want to do is I want to click on add controller now what add controller does is this is the actual virtual Xbox controller right here. So I'm going to go into edit and no buttons are assigned to this. So I want to assign my steady controller to the, the Xbox controller that we just virtually created. So what I want to do is I want to go and configure all. And I'm going to click on every button that's telling me to, to click on right now. So you can see it's flashing uh, like right now it's flashing Y, LB. RB, uh, L3, R3, uh, start, select, stadia button, moving the left stick left and right. Just do that a few times, you don't have to do it all the time. Uh, up and down, uh, left and right, up and down with the right stick, left trigger, right trigger. Up, down, left, right. Now at the moment, um, hold on, let me just close that real quick and then go back to edit. Um, so at the moment, I'm using wired on the Stadia controller. If in the future, uh, the Stadia controller gets updated to support Bluetooth, you could do it that way as well. But at the moment, at the time of this recording, uh, wired is the only way to do this. Um, but anyways, once you've done this, just double check that everything's working, you know, just move your sticks, uh, use the d-pad, make sure it's all working. Uh, A, B, X, Y, L1, R1, L3, R3, start, back, and then stadia button. I'm not going to click that, just in case uh, Steam launches. Um, 
then the thing is you might notice the right stick is not the same um, it's a bit inverted so what you want to do is you go to Z rotation and click invert and it'll put the range from 0 100 to 100 to 0 and let's just test that perfect it's great it, it does exactly where I'm telling it to go that's great uh, also what I like to do is I like to change the name of this to like Stadia Xbox controller maybe one like if I have multiple controllers maybe I want to put it as two or three or one um, the reason why I want to do this is because some PC games they will have the label of the controller so this is useful for uh, if you're playing local multiplayer and you have more than one controller so you will know specifically which controller this is instead of looking for the name controller if that makes sense uh, so this is essentially used for local multiplayer games uh, it's a good practice to have and then just click X and what you want to do after this is just hit start the moment you hit start is everything started you have the PC thinks it has an Xbox controller right now if, uh, and it's being emulated by a Stadia controller. Uh, you could stop and again you can start. Uh, there are other options like run at Windows startup, close application to tray bar. Um, I don't do any of that I just you know just manually click the software and then click start and that's it. Um, you can also save if you want so it you know just to back it up right here and then you know if you move computers if you switch computers you can just load this settings file and everything is already set for you um, but yeah let's just launch overwatch and test it out now I, ha I don't play overwatch with a controller so you know um, that justifies my lack of skills with the controller if, if you're gonna <laughs> I'm gonna show you a bit like one minute of shooting and stuff so let's go to training practice range uh, I'm gonna go for McCree because McCree was on the poster um, I love this game by the way so let's go for McCree now right off the bat you can already see it says press H to change hero it says left shift to roll and E to flash now I'm picking up the stadium controller right now and let's see if it works yeah there you go it works I'm using the right stick of the stadium controller I'm using left stick uh, X to change hero uh, LB RB so again what this does is it it changes your stadium control into an Xbox controller and any PC that supports Xbox uh, sorry any PC game that supports the Xbox control now also supports your stadium controller but the problem is you're going to see the Xbox buttons but on the bright side A B X Y already matches the Xbox controller so the only thing that really changes is the LB and the LT buttons but I'm I'm pretty sure that's self-explanatory anyways I don't think you need to see, you need to see like L1 L2 you you can you can tell that uh, you know which ones are triggers and which ones are buttons but yeah I'm just uh, using the controller right now not doing that bad actually <laughs> I thought I'd be doing way worse than this um, yeah so it's just that basically and let's just do a little high and new boom 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 <laughs> let's kill ourselves <laughs> okay so that was pretty much it that's the whole thing of how to convert steady controller into an xbox controller so you can play uh, most pc games uh, so yeah i hope this was useful to you uh, thank you for watching my video this is jam and i'll see you on the next one